this is Kristen. I'm a real squirrel. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram too. Thanks for clicking on my video. I hope you check out my channel and my other videos and subscribe. I've got some shipping to do from a few little sales I had on my eBay yesterday and then I'm heading to the Goodwill outlet in Denver. Let's get this done and you can come with me. Before we go, be sure to click that like button and subscribe. Hey everybody, thank you for checking out my channel. I'm Kristen, I'm a real squirrel. I'm getting ready to go to my home bins this morning and see what we can find. Just a short trip. I'm getting ready to pick up a few flannels for junk stock, which is one pop-up I do a year. So if you're out in the Omaha area the first part of October, please come over and say hi. <laughs> I'm gonna go get in line and get ready to see what we can find in the bins this morning. day at the bins today don't usually come on a weekend but it was super nice to see a lot of friends and hang out with them and I got quite a few flannels loaded the car can't wait to show you what I got so that was another good trip in Denver feels like every time I go I find something great now I don't always have like the best day ever but I always find something good so let me show you what I have small load okay I'm lying it's not a small load <laughs> we might be here for a minute I intended to go and only pick up flannels I did get a bunch of them. I mean, like a bunch of them. It's like I have a whole bale of flannels. And if you want to see where I have my flannels, I do one pop up a year. It's at junk stock and that's coming up the first part of October. So make sure you come by and say, Hey, if you see me out and about at junk stock, can't wait. It is such a cool show. Um, and it is definitely worth the trip. But these are the things that I found that are not flannels. <laughs> so this is um, a brand new with tags. It says faux fur, but it's chenille. I'm not even gonna attempt that name on that tag, but comps did look like they were about 25 to 30, sometimes even more, depending on uh, you know what the material was. These things um, were also linen weight, so they separate their linens at my bins are all a separate price and it's lower. So that makes my um, return on investment, my ROI, even better. She gave me pillow pricing on these. 
You guys know what these are, right? <laughs> They're the big size too. So I got pillow pricing on these Squishmallows. I've got a little cleanup to do on them. And then I'm gonna get these guys listed. Aren't they so stinking cute? <laughs> I was in love with this. You guys <laughs> saw me model this for my friend that was there with us, um, that was there with me thrifting. This is a medium, it was my size. I might wear it and then maybe get rid of it. Or maybe I'll just keep it. I thought it was cool. Got a pair of jeans for my daughter. Another pink for my niece. I'm kind of excited about this one. So this is Rock Island Railroad. It's a new with tags jacket. Um, it's just Kirkland. However, railroad stuff always does seem to do really well. This one, um, again, new with tags. It's an extra large, so it could be a men's or a women's, but railroad stuff, always a good uh, gamble, I would say, because everything that we pick up, it's a gamble. It's either going to sell or it's not, and you hope that it does, and you hope that you make some money on it. It's a gamble. But Rock Island Railroad out of Denver and new with tags jacket. I was really happy with the other comps. There weren't any identical, uh, similar comps. Close, but they were a little more vintage. Wish me luck on this. Maybe I'll report back and let you know how it does. This one is a Zenergy, which is a, a Chico's travel brand. It's a great for travel dress plain black. I kind of think my mom would really look stunning in that. So it might be for my mom. Coming to you, mom. This is another linen, but look at the little tassels on it and the embroidery at the top. It's an impeccable pig, which is an anthropology brand. And I think it's got a great style to it. I think it'll not last long in my closet. I kind of just picked this up because I like the shape and the style, and the fabric feels amazing. This is um, uh, uh, BCBG Maxar, Maxazaria, but this jacket feels like it's a, a, you know, an evening wear, go to town, high fashion, fancy um, bolero jacket, but mm, I kind of want to do the rest of the video with this on and be like, <laughs> you know, fashion model. I feel like a fashion model with this thing on. It is pretty fancy. Yeah. Joie. It look, I, I look so much better when I say that with this jacket on. It's a joie. <laughs> it's an extra small little sweater, but um, great brand um, and a pretty color. Those have done well for me in the past, and I'm just... I'm just almost not cool enough to wear this jacket and look gorgeous the whole time. This is a size eight. So nice. Bowden. It's white, makes me nervous, but I looked it over really well in the sun. There's a few things that I need to hit with it. It's a size six, but I love the embroidery. I love this jacket. It feels like it's one of those, like a rag rug. I know that doesn't sound fancy at all, but I like the tag on it. The comps were pretty good. I think it's just funky and artsy and fancy and I think it'll still do well, but that's the first time that I have found that brand. I, I looked it up only because I liked the tag. You guys probably do that too, don't you? If you see a tag that looks neat, you're like, hmm, tell me more. Okay, so <sighs> Halloween is right around the corner. These are fun. This, these are obviously vintage. I don't know where THS is. It's vintage, but I will have these up for Halloween, but they always make me think of Aunt Sherry, who you've met several times. She's funny. Um, I was really excited to find these. I say that so much, but every time I find something, I get excited. So these are Fry, nice little ballet flats. I've sold this style several times before. Not even in this great a condition, but these are in pretty good condition. Let's see what size. Oh my gosh, it's way up there and it's hard to see. It looks like they're a nine. Oh, I love that size. Anyway, my mom's already watching this show saying, nine, that's my size. <laughs> these are gonna be listed, sorry mom. I get really excited about these because I love 
Johnny was. I wish that I could wear all kinds of it. Every time I see it at the, the Cherry Creek Mall, I wanna go in and just drool all over everything. So I have found Johnny was maybe twice. This is my second or third time finding Johnny was. It's an extra small. <laughs> it's in fabulous condition. And although I want to keep it <laughs> and wear it a lot, I will probably get this one listed as well. So pretty. Johnny was definitely excited about this. I think that this will probably be, you know, 50, 60, $70 uh, shirt. Very happy to find this one. Ooh, this one kind of made my day. And then free people. But look at this tunic with the embroidery on it and uh, this, this color. The lady next to me was like, hmm, that's pretty nice. If you throw that back, let me know. Mm, sorry. I really like this one. I'm going to keep it um, and get it listed because it is so cool. Free People is kind of hit and miss for me, but this embroidered tunic I think will do well. And lastly, this is a, a it was in a big plastic dry cleaning bag. It's a Harris Tweed. It's numbered the Harris Tweed um, long overcoat jacket, like a trench jacket. The comps on these were fabulous. So I'm very happy about this one for what I'm paying for it. It's a great sell. Um, and I'll probably price it low so that I can um, flip it quickly. It's gorgeous. Watch my eBay, you'll see it on there. And if you need a link to my eBay, it's in the description below. Everything that I have, I get listed on there. Um, and if you see something you like, pop on there, click on the link and it'll take you right to my store. Now I am a member of the eBay affiliate program. So anytime you click on that link, and even if you go to someone else's store, it does help me out a little bit and I appreciate you guys even clicking and checking it out. So that's all my stuff. Big pile of flannels. Um, let's see, the flannels. We have $40 worth of flannels. Uh, the linens, which included that, oh, and I did have a Pendleton blanket. I forgot to show you that was included in my linens. So the pink blanket, the Pendleton, and the two Squishmallows, that was all of my linens. Um, that was for $4.12. Uh, the rest of my collection of things that I, that I got, the other amazing things that I'm gonna get listed on my eBay, those were $68.84. So I rounded up for a total of, uh, with tax, $124. I think I'm gonna make this back on my coat alone. The, so we're turning $124 into, oh, way more than that. Real happy with this load. Nothing that screams glamor like you expect. No Prada shoes, no Gucci shoes, no Louis Vuitton bags, but no Hermes scarves this time, maybe next time, manifest it, manifest it. <laughs> but still, really amazing, low key, big sales. I appreciate you hanging out here with me. I'm so glad you went to the bins with me. I hope you are out there finding all kinds of great stuff and keeping it out of the landfills and making a little money on the side. So if you had a good time, give me a thumbs up. If you know that I had a good time, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you have, I'm very grateful. It really helps me out. And I'm anxious to see my, my channel continue to grow. It's been a lot of fun to do this. Thanks again. I hope I see you out and about. If you do see me, make sure you say hi and I'll see you next time. I'll see you in the bins.